This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create your own snow overlay in Photoshop so that you don't have to download one externally from a third-party site. So as you can see here, I have my example image opened up. The first thing I want to do is add a new layer to this image. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom right corner and click on this little plus icon to add a new layer, as you can see there. And then I want to come over here and just make sure I have my foreground color set to black. If yours isn't set to black, just click on this little black and white icon above it to set it that way. And then go to Edit and choose Fill. I'm going to leave these settings as they are and click OK. And now this entire layer should be filled with black like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some noise to this image. So I'll come up here to where it says Filter. I will choose Noise. And I'm going to select Add Noise. Now the presets I'm using here are as follows. The amount is 60%, the distribution is uniform, and I have monochromatic selected. So go ahead and input these presets here and then click OK. And what we will do next is apply a Gaussian Blur. So come up here to where it says Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And for this I'm going to apply a one pixel radius to this blur. So type in one and click OK. And now we are going to add an adjustment layer, uh, a curves adjustment layer to this layer here. So I'm going to come down here to this little half circle and click on that uh, to add a new adjustment layer. And the adjustment I'm going to add is curves. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to make this into a clipping mask so that it's only applied to the layer beneath it. So I'm going to right click on this adjustment layer and I will select create a clipping mask. Now what I will do is I will select the layer in the middle, what was originally the black layer, and I will change the blend mode of that right here to screen. And now what we can do is we can come back up here to the curves layer, and we can use these handles right here to adjust the appearance on the screen. If you notice what's happening here, as I adjust these, I'm getting the appearance of snow on the uh, image here. And the way that it looks, the size of the snowflakes and the density and the intensity of them is determined by how I change these settings here. So I'm just going to play with this a little bit till I get the settings that I like. I think this right here looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Uh, if you'd like to change uh, the intensity of that, you can select the layer in the middle here and you can bring down the opacity if you want to make it blend in a little more. I personally like how it looks with it all the way up like this. It looks like a, a blizzard is just beginning. But I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about creating your very own snow overlay for your images in Photoshop.